I'm working so hard here, I've dug it all out and then my cat comes and digs a hole and poos right in my work area. Good morning everybody and welcome back to another daily video. I hope you're all enjoying them. If you don't know who we are, I'm Theo and with my girlfriend B, we are living on our land in Portugal off grid. So today I'm starting a big project. So the first thing I need to do with this project is level the whole area out just like we did with our like summer area, our shelter that we put up the other day. And you can see I've got breeze blocks and I've just put the wood along the breeze blocks just to get an idea of one, how big the area is gonna be and just to double check it's in the right area. You know, I don't wanna be sitting on the toilet and not have a magical view. So this is the poo with the view cabin and one of the things I need to do is turn over all of the earth, get rid of all these roots. You know, they're gonna get in the way. You don't want anything growing up after you built the structure. So it is three meters wide by two meters depth. So a really nice size. And I should probably start digging. This is really sweaty work. Digging, more digging, more digging. But I am getting there, I'm about halfway through. And if you're wondering why B isn't helping me today, it's because she's really not feeling well. She's in bed. She's still doing work, but she's working from bed today. So send her some love in the comments, make her feel a little bit better. And also, yes, I'm wearing the same T-shirt but you know, my natural odor is beautiful, so it's all good. And I think what I'll do this evening is run a bath. Not, well, I'm not gonna run a bath. The bath water's still in there, so I'm just gonna reheat the bath water, jump in the bath, because I am gonna be aching after all this work. So this is the pile of like roots and basically stuff I'm gonna compost down and burn. And then, over here is what I've done so far, so I'm not bothered leveling it yet, just getting rid of any roots and any uh, rocks that are in the way. So some of you guys might be wondering why I'm not digging a hole and then cementing my posts into that hole. And the reason I've gone for the raised above ground method on breeze blocks is because as soon as you dig down, there's granite stone everywhere, so there's no way I would be able to get the post deep enough into the ground to just cement them in. So I thought this method was like the next best thing really and I think it's gonna work out just fine. So, exciting news, for me anyway. I've just laid the first breeze block, leveled it all up and I can really understand how hard it must be for people like Chris Harbour. If you've not checked out his channel, go and check him out. He builds amazing stuff, living off-grid in Wales. Really cool videos, took a lot of inspiration from him. And yeah, it's hard work on your own. B is ill, so I can't really uh, ask her to do anything. And to be honest, this is kind of like my project anyway, so I wanna do as much as, as much as I can on my own because I think it would just be a good learning experience. And here it is, the first breeze block is down and it's nice and level, forwards and backwards and level left to right as well. So that's a good start. Basically I wanted to dig down further because the ground's lower over there. So I'm gonna have to raise uh, the blocks up over that far side, higher up than I wanted to 
but this block basically won't go any lower because there's a massive granite slab underneath it that there's no way I'm going to be able to move. It goes on for as long as I was digging. But what I've done is over the top of the granite rock I've just laid some gravel so that I could level the block out and then I'm going to continue putting some gravel around the outside so it won't shift at all. I'm working so hard here, I've dug it all out and then my cat comes and digs a hole and poos right in my work area. Ginger, you are now on YouTube doing a poo. So, at least she's covering it for me. So all is going well, had to improvise a little bit. But I just started to smell this really funny smell. And then I remember, Ginger just did a poo and I've obviously dug it up because basically what I'm doing is filling all the way around these breeze blocks with earth and the reason I'm doing that is just to make it a lot more sturdy and now it hardly moves at all and it is it's higher up than I wanted it to be but like I mentioned before under here there is granite so as soon as you dig like a foot down, you get to the granite. And then here, there's granite. So that's the lowest I could go on that side. So I had to counter it with this side. So I had to put three breeze blocks on top of each other. But what I've done is I've put gravel underneath them. I put gravel underneath this dirt, then dirt on top, then gravel, then dirt on top, then gravel and dirt on top. So that's pretty secure now. And it's nice and level. It doesn't look as funny now because obviously the dirt uh, is raised up but before it looked really weird. We are going to have to make almost like a staircase to get into it because it's going to be fairly high off the floor but I think that's a good thing because that's what you want don't you? You want it to be, uh, you want it to be off the floor so no moisture can get into the wood. So yeah, I'm pretty happy so far. This will make it slightly more tricky for when I have to gravel the whole floor. So I've brought uh, this material that I'm going to put on the floor and I'm going to lay gravel all the way on it so nothing can grow up underneath it and also the water can soak away. Oh my gosh, this is a literal building site. This is amazing. <laughs> Look at you. Coming along. Wow. Wow. This is exciting. So yeah, it is getting there. We could have our very own shoilet, as Neil said, <laughs> sooner rather than later. It's getting there, so I've got some more gravel to lay, a few bits and bobs to, to finish before I can start framing it, but hopefully tomorrow I can start actually framing the like deck that everything's going to sit on, so Ooh. it's coming along. It's been hard work though, I could do with a bath. Well, I'll put one on for you now, how about that? Thank you. And I was thinking for Christmas decorations in the van, cut like a piece of one of these off and make like a mini Christmas tree, because this is like, obviously it's not a super traditional Christmas tree, but be kind of good for that, I think. But yeah, let me show you what I've done so far in the van. So the kitchen's a bit messy. I grabbed a load of um, herbs from Lidl yesterday. They were on offer, so I've got some rosemary, thyme, parsley and coriander. They can't stay here because it's too warm from the cooker. So I'm trying to think where they can go, but yeah, look at this. Are you ready? Are you ready for the Christmas light, Christmas light switch on? Pow! <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but Multicoloured lights just scream Christmas to me. And I've got this long wiry stuff with green snowflakes. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna twist this up somewhere, but for now I've just got it hanging on there like a wreath. I just love Christmas decorations. Oh, and also up here, still haven't organized this bit. I've got these cute little Christmas lights that my mom sent us over. Let's turn them on. Yeah! <laughs> I'll turn them off so you can see what they actually are. They're little Santa faces. <laughs> Couldn't get more festive than that. 
So yeah, I've had a duvet day, but working from the duvet day. And it's been really nice to not have to physically do anything. I've just let Thea do all of the hard work. <laughs> I've been working on the computer, which is a lot easier physically, although oh, it is draining sitting in front of a screen all day. I'm going to nip out to the shop and get some supplies for dinner. The local shop doesn't have tons of stuff, but it has a bit of enough of everything to make some food. <laughs> I'm not sure what I'm going to make for dinner yet. Also, yeah, talking about dinner, are there any like, are you guys interested in watching any other cooking videos cooking in the van kind of stuff i know we had a good reception from the mushroom cooking that was fun i'm so sad that there's no more of them because they were so nice that mushroom soup was so good here's the lights now it's dark they just look good whatever whether it's daytime or nighttime i'm absolutely in love with these lights and yeah i did drag myself to the shop i got dressed for the first time I think I got dressed at about half past five. <laughs> but yeah, I got the ingredients for dinner. Theo really wanted a big dinner because he was working very hard all day, physical labor. So he, ne he needed a good hearty meal. So I'm gonna get cracking on dinner now and continue to relax and try and feel better tomorrow. Cause whilst it's nice to not move around, it's also not nice to move around. You get all creaky and ugh. So yeah, anyway, enough blathering on about my creaky bones. Thanks for watching today's Vlogmas and we will see you tomorrow. Head over to theindieproducts.com forward slash shop and check out our new merchandise. Join us on Patreon for exclusive content and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button so you never miss a video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.